Hello, Mr. Nygren here. Welcome to another video. So I unfortunately can't play Sims 1 or Sim 1 on my best gaming computer anymore. So I had to use my older one from 2009. The, the better one is from 2013, but it, it's a big difference because the graphics card in that computer is way better. It was the best graphics card on the market in 2013. Well, this one has a, a much worse graphics card, so we can only play with worse graphics, unfortunately, but Simit 1 looks about the same. I believe the, the lights are better on the other computers. The, the characters look a little bit better too, due to how the, the shading and light work. But anyway, <coughs> Simit 1 is a new and enhanced engine of Sims 1, released first in 2017. I believe updated as late as this year, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and uh, it enables you to play Sims 1 in 3D. And I found a video on, on YouTube where someone played this game in 3D. And that's when I downloaded it, I believe, back in December 2020. But I had it installed on the other computer. It worked fine on the other computer in the past. But I managed to somehow break it by changing too much. And I, I didn't properly know how to add custom content to the Simit 1 engine. It's easy to add to Sims 1, but not to Simit 1, or at least I thought so. Now I think it's easy, easy to add to Simit 1 too. But uh, previously I used a different method and uh, I to screw up and install Simit 1, had uh, Sims installed, did some videos. Uh, there I had patched, I believe, Sims 1 with the white screen patcher. There I had my custom characters. <clears throat> so like five days ago I uploaded the last video on, on the other computer and then I went on to try and get Simit1 to work and unfortunately I, even though I managed to start Simit1 I couldn't get the launcher to work and when starting it directly through the .exe file I believe that <clears throat> I believe that um, we ended up with 2D uh, view and couldn't change to 3D from inside of the game, I tried clicking F12, which is the button you're supposed to click, to change from 2D to 3D. It didn't work, and uh, yeah, I had a problem because I wanted to play it in 3D, not in 2D, and well, uh, I, I tried a lot of stuff, and all of a sudden, Sims 1 didn't start anymore, and then I had a lot of problems reinstalling it because of the game being in the registry. But if you have a problem with the register files, there are two methods to easily solve it. One is to go to program files and search for Maxis and then the Sims and then just uninstall it like you would on a on very old computer. You would uninstall the game in, in program files. It works on a Windows 7 at least. I don't know if uh, Windows 10, like the computer I'm on right now, if it would actually work because it doesn't have the same same uh, say, uh, yeah it should probably be here somewhere search for maxis and then um, you click uninst uninstall the sims okay <clears throat> and the other thing you need to do is go to the sims folder and, and use the eraser to uh, which will erase anything in the I believe register computer. Otherwise, take the game and you try to reinstall it. Say that it's already installed. You need to also use the eraser. But the problem is that uh, even after uninstalling it uh, and erasing everything, uh, I, I could reinstall it. Finally, so I could reinstall the game. But whenever I try to start it on that computer, I get a uh, small screen here in the upper left corner uh, with a loading screen that is like greenish and then a few seconds later it crashes back to the desktop. I haven't been able to fix it. I tried a lot of stuff. I read up on Google <coughs> but nothing worked. I read that it's probably because of corrupted.dll files and they recommended that I would uh, use rev uninstaller to uninstall the game and run CC cleaner and uh, to, to uh, remove any remnant files and then also use the eraser. I did all of that. I also tried deleting an update from Microsoft uh, from 
14 or 2013 that affected the ability to launch the game, but it didn't affect the, the ability to launch the game previously. But I still did it, they said so. Okay, and it didn't work. So, uh, as far as I understand, the final thing to do was to just remove the folder and then uninstall it and remove all the files and then and re reinstall. But no matter what, whenever I try to start it, I get that. Uh, greenish uh, loading screen in the corner and then it crashes after a few seconds so uh, <clears throat> I gave up you'll have to use this computer it's a Windows 10 computer the other one is a Windows 7 this Windows 10 computer while having a better more modern uh, I don't know if it's better but it has a more modern operating system Windows 10 it still has worse uh, graphics card and a worse processor and such so, so the games will look worse but the but, uh, user interface and such is more modern. Okay, <coughs> so I have no choice but to use <coughs> this computer because I can't start the game anymore, the better one. Uh, so Simit 1, it's like, uh, I believe uh, there was a game, Thousand Sims Online, which was pretty, pretty much the Sims 1 online. Uh, it has since gone offline, I believe, but the uh, fans uh, made their own version of it and has recreated it it's called sims online and or free sims online free so free so free sims online <coughs> this is the launcher for it and here we have uh, two options we have simit one or we have the actual sims game you can go to home installer Things. I believe when we start it up, it has the option to play, start up. Let's start up um, Sims Online 2. The, we are gonna start Simit 1. So Simit 1 requires the Sims Complete Collection, which is the, the game that uh, includes every expansion, and Simit 1 for Windows. This is what it states about Simit 1. <coughs> Simit 1 is an alternate. Uh, See if Windows front end for the Sims 1 based off of free SO or free Sims Online, which requires a legitimate copy of the Sims Complete Collection in order to work. So you need to install the official title Sims Complete Collection, otherwise, you can't get this to run. Same is true for the Sims Online fan made version. <clears throat> Play the Sims in 3D 60 plus frames per second and high definition. Experience the Sims game you already know and love in a whole new way. Optimized for modern PCs, used to play in 3D or the more familiar 2D, and enjoy smooth gameplay at high resolution and refresh rates. Improved custom UI for high resolution support. Simit 1 features a custom user interface that works at modern resolutions and delivers a fresh look and feel to the game. Work is being made towards a more desktop oriented interface. Yeah. Okay, so originally this was for both the computer and the iPads and the phones, but the EA, I believe, forced the developers to remove the iPad and phone versions, so now it's only for the computer. Okay, probably because you need to buy the, the computer game in order to run it, so that's why they allow uh, the, the PC version, but they do not allow the iPad and, uh, and phone versions, because um, that would mean you could play it without owning the actual game, I guess, because I don't believe that the Sims Complete Collection exists for the phone or the iPad so, so they could probably just run it straight from the phone without needing the, the game unlike on the computer okay so we will start up the game I've spent uh, the last three days or so experimenting with Sims and Simit 1 and added all my custom characters and such so we'll take a look at custom characters and families we'll start it up <clears throat> so this is the start menu. Simit one is similar to the Sims one start screen. Then we have to lower the sound a little bit. The computer. <clears throat> okay, so Simit one has a great character screen. When we are in 3D, we can. Yeah. 
to Nita. Nita, etc., etc., and then character is open in order to get this talent out of there. Okay, we'll restart it. Something is off the boy version, maybe. Yeah, the boy option might be a bug file there. Try again. switch from one thing to another. I didn't have that previously. So uh, my guess is that it's one of the new models that I added. I added a bunch of models uh, from a special site, I believe. Uh, <clears throat> this site, Dollhouse. We have a lot of good heads here, you can see. Wonderful head, he originally added all the, the heads of the light uh, skin. They are like mad and dark too. Like mad and dark. So I downloaded everything, but I only added the pale ones, I believe. No, I'm wrong. <laughs> Not the pale. Um, I need to click on star here. Okay, so light skin, but later I removed everything, with the exception of 
this one and this one. So they're the only ones I have in the game. But I did, uh, I believe, the pyjamas, all of them. All of the pyjamas. And the uh, same with swimsuits. So I need to go through game files and delete all of it because it, it's, uh, it's probably such a file that caused the game to crash. I didn't have the issue before adding it. Okay. Also, the heads didn't show up in Simit 1 from that site. I needed to create new skin files and uh, I believe meshes for them to show up. They're a little bit different. Yeah, I will need to remove uh, all the, the, the files from the doll site except those two tools that I have fixed. Okay, we'll start Simit 1 again. <coughs> Yeah, it's easy to make this uh, sort of fun. Uh, the game a bit unstable by adding uh, too many custom uh, stuff at once. I suggest um, adding very few things in the beginning and make sure that it works and then add more so you can avoid it if it's causing any trouble. It's very different. Seems 
one has a K, but it's a silly silver K, the texture was missing. And adding it to the Simpunk K, the K disappeared, but otherwise they were fish eyes and other evil characters in the game. Might still be in the game, every wolf character in the game. Uh, we have checked that already. We have another uh, character family of Piccolo, and of Satin, Subsail Goku, Trillin, Kid Goku, and of AT and M. Here, look, let's go to this family. Okay, another Pokemon family based on the anime instead of the manga. Yeah. Cash Ketchum Rock is the this girl again. Different games and a different team rock. Uh, yes, it's the rocket. Okay, they also managed to have two of the old characters. Uh, they have really Than others, and uh, just so the the data sim menu is unstable. I need to delete any other files on that site. We have more characters here for Dragon Quest 8, I believe. Dragon Quest 8 characters, one character is missing. We have more silicon characters, suicide, the dive, and consider. Consider. Okay, and Characters, Matthew Luffy, Ace Fire Feast, Fire Feast Ace, and Dora Zoro, Torchman, <coughs> and Sunny the Chef, and we have uh, Nami the Navigator, and then we have uh, Family A2, Silver Family, Silver Mars, Silver Mercury, Chiba Yusa, Adult Chiba Yusa, we have uh, Silver Blue, Tupac A. Uh, the narrative character to actually game yet. They are in the create a sim menu, but they are not here. We create a family in Sim Fun, we can have up to 27 family members in the family. If we create them in Sims Fun, we can only have 8 family members like in all other Sims games. We have never increased uh, the amount of family members from 8. And uh, that includes pets too, so it's uh, better to create families in uh, Sim 1. If you want bigger families than 8 characters, you can have, as I said, uh, characters all the way from here to here. As I'm moving over custom content, I need to move over the files straight from Sims 1, and I don't believe it would be compatible if you have more than 8 characters. And that's why I haven't done, uh, I haven't made a uh, family with more family members. Okay. Characters. Uh, I think uh, the first one we want to do is the dragon the one. I had a video of this family in the past. We'll take a look at this dragon ball family. Pause the game. So in the 3D view we can zoom out, we can move around the camera like this, we can rotate up and down, you can even zoom in and move freely. Here are the Dragon Ball characters, we have Krillin, unfortunately he is a kid, so he can't have any sexual relation in this game. <laughs> the reason he is a kid is because all the characters with smaller models uh, needed to be kids, unfortunately. He's supposed to be husband of uh, and partner of Android 18 this woman here, but unfortunately he is a kid in the game, so he can't have any love in uh, relationships. So Goten is the next kid. As kids they need to go to school, and the school bus will need to will come for them. And I uh, don't know if they can grow up, probably. Which would be weird. Anyway, I wonder what model they would get if they grew up. Anyway, they are kids, so they need to go to school, and uh, can't have any sexual relations, uh, of course, uh, but for Krillin he's supposed to be an adult, but he's a kid in the actual game. Okay, uh, 
sub set go go here, here. ball the piccolo and he has unique skins for when he is like in other when he's sleeping when he's batting when he is uh, he has different alternate versions of himself all with his green skins he won't look weird when he undresses and such okay we have teen trunks really good we have Android 17. What I can say is that the, the models look the same on the other computer. The game looks the same. Uh, if there are more sunlight, they would look slightly better. Uh, I believe that the graphics card of my other computer are bet uh, is better, so <clears throat> they would look slightly better there due to their shading. You can compare it when using the shade. It would be a slightly more beautiful, uh, what should I say? Um, um, picture, but uh, otherwise it would be the same game. It might look slightly more updated here. Unfortunately, I can't run the game. Uh, the, the original game, the other computer, and as such, I probably can't run this one either. Okay, these are the Dragon Ball characters. And uh, yeah, I could. Uh, uh, we have like the menu here, we can build everything in 6 1. Different menu. Okay, we can zoom out here too. Like in the original game, zoom in. Zooming up here. We rotate with these buttons too. Characters here, only Krillin has a name. Okay. See their professions, they kept the professions from the Sims 1 game, so they have a Hall of Famer, the same professions and personalities and such that I gave them to Sim Enhancer, and added the characters to Sims 1, and kept Sim 1, which is really nice. And uh, so they are ported over with all their relations and personalities, we can see the skills here. Modes, and we can see the relationships. <laughs> For example, Trunks doesn't like Android 17 and Android 18. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty decent game. 3D. <laughs> Wow. For some reason, 
Loki. For example, no. Uh, yes. I was sure that they worked in the past. So I don't know. I remember using the, the cheat codes in the past in Sims 1. I don't remember how. When I click enter, I just get this sound for some reason. Okay. I did add a if file that will allow me to cheat. It's like a computer you can buy. Place the game. Leave a go to. Yeah, let's see here. We need to go to buildings. And electricity. And other. And this computer is a cheated tool we can add. Piccolo, we can go there. We have motives, fill all, so we can fill all our, all our motives. Set hunger, we can set our hunger level. Set comfort level, set hygiene level, set energy, set fun, and set social. This is like a sheet, too, so we don't want have to fill everyone's needs. We have skills, max all, adjust mechanical, adjust cooking, adjust charisma. Charisma, we adjust logic, adjust body, adjust creativity, clear all can do a lot of stuff thanks to the if file that I downloaded I believe it was uh, some kind of sheet if file for the developers remove props and animations get grim get classical see the guitar fun rock out we can log in but that won't work okay tried it they used to say that they can't log in they don't have the password okay uh, so uh, yeah, this is Sims 1 in 3D, unfortunately on my 2009 gaming computer and not on my 2013 one, that looks way better. Okay, and this is one of the Dragon Ball families. Android 18. I believe uh, when I filmed this game previously, like a year ago, on my other computer, I didn't speak, but I believe I posted a movie, not on YouTube, but on Twitch. It was a test where I did a few movies from Total War and and from Hyrule to War and from this game. Uh, unfortunately, the videos are removed after some time on Twitch. So they don't exist anymore. And I didn't have any viewers. Anyway, I had like one to three viewers through the post. But I didn't bother. Anyway, when I posted that video, I had a bigger family. I had every dragon character in the family, but I couldn't get every character to create, I believe had like the heads of every character but he didn't have the bodies so Cloud had, uh, I believe Son Goku had like body and Beat had go, uh, no uh, Son Goku had uh, Cloud Strife's body from Final Fantasy 7 Beat had Cloud Strife's body while others like Piccolo and Android 18 great okay so not everyone worked now I know how to port them to make them work so way better Okay, unfortunately the sheets uh, do not work right now, uh, you can use the computer sheet, but uh, sheets like autonomy for example do not work. I remember using a money sheet straight through the console, I just don't remember, the code may have been different, um, could be different code. Ah, there's no point in trying, I don't remember. I believe someone in the Discord wrote to me how to do it, and I did it, and it worked, but... <clears throat> yeah, the worst case, one could use, could probably add the uh, money. If you didn't have this sheet tool, you could just add the money in Sims 1, and they, it would probably transfer port over. Sims 1. Uh, but autonomy doesn't work. Otherwise, I could have just placed everyone under autonomy at 100. It would bring up the sheet menu in Sims 1 and then write autonomy and then write 100. That would give all the characters 100% autonomy so the computer would do everything for you. It's nice if you just want to look at the characters interacting with each other. Uh, but that doesn't work in Sims 1 as far as I understand it. 
Okay, so this video has been long enough due to my speaking. I think we will uh, think we will um, cut it short and do another video with other families and characters. This was more of an overview. Check the others later. <laughs>
later. Maybe I will play with this family. Maybe I will play with another family. But I want to review everyone first. Okay, this didn't seem fun. The vice grip pressure. This video became way longer than I had intended. Let's go to the beginning. Okay, in the next video, we're going straight to the family and just review. Okay, thank you for watching. This was a Okay. Thank you for watching.